Hi, I'm Jagrati from Ignite Bollywood Dance Company and we've been exploring eight different feminine archetypes in our Bollywood dance classes and today I'd like to talk to you about Warrior Babe. Now in order to demonstrate what Warrior Babe stands for and what she's all about, I'd like to share with you a story that I've uh, grown up with. It's a story told through the lens of Hindu mythology. Long time ago, there was a battle being fought between good and evil. It was the demons versus the gods, demigods and humans. And in this battle, the king of the demons was truly powerful, incredibly powerful, and the battle continued. Lives were lost. And this half man, half buffalo demon was getting more and more powerful. You see, this demon was given a boon that he could not be killed by man or by God. However, Lord Brahma had left one loophole. Brahma said, the one that will take your life will be a woman. The demon laughed at this idea. He said, there's just no way a woman can ever kill me. He was he was huge, he was a mighty powerful demon. Even, even gods would crumble before him. And he laughed at the thought of a woman killing him, him dying at the hands of a woman, not going to happen. All the gods tried fighting the demons and they kept losing. After much thought, they decided to put together all their superpowers and create the ultimate weapon that would destroy this demon. Amongst a surge of energy, as their powers came together, a weapon was created and the weapon was Durga. A multi-armed goddess on a lion that was going to defeat the demon. In Hindu mythology, what's so beautiful about it is that each story that's told has so much depth, so much richness and symbolism behind it. And there are multiple ways that one can interpret them. And there are two things that really stand out for me personally in this story and the way I like to interpret it. Number one, I see that when there is an imbalance in the masculine and feminine powers that reside in the world or reside within us, that causes so much conflict, so much tension, that it is time for the other to step up. And in this case, in this story, the masculine was overpowering the world, masculine energy. And I'm not talking about male and female as man and woman. I'm talking about the essence of what masculine energy is versus feminine energy. There are lots, there's plenty of literature about that, so I won't go into that right now. What I'm trying to say is that when there is an imbalance between when masculine is just overpowering in terms of our work, in terms of the way things are done in life, when we are overvaluing the intellect and the one side of the brain versus the other, and not valuing intuition, not valuing compassion and, and warmth and love, then, <laughs> then there's an imbalance and that causes great conflict which needs to be overcome and in order to overcome that conflict the other needs to step up and in this story the other was the feminine. 
feminine power had to come into play in order to balance the world, bring it back to equilibrium and bring it back to peace and joy. The other way to look at this story is to look at the idea of demons and what does the demon symbolize in this story. Oftentimes I find we, we waste so much energy trying to fight the demons outside. We think others are to blame for things, you know, society or the government or a person, another person in your life. And we make them, we demonize them and we make them our enemy. When in fact, the greatest demons that we need to face are within us. They lie within us in many forms. Um, whether it be your personal insecurity or fear about something, self-doubt, um, feeling that you're, you're not worthy, feeling that you are not enough in some way. These are the demons that, that we should be fighting first in order to really step up into our full potential. This brings me to what Warrior Babe is all about. Warrior Babe is fierce. She is assertive, she's strategic, she's a fighter, she's full of courage. Warrior Babe is that part of you that when you walk in the room and when you carry her energy, no one messes with you. They just, they're, 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 they're too afraid. There's just no need to mess with you because you hold your own, you hold the boundaries that you need to, you, you protect yourself. And most importantly, you have that much courage, that much power that you can stand up for others when they need you the most. That's her beauty, that's her superpower. Her ability to be so courageous as to step into the unknown, to stand up, for what is right and to stand up and protect others. That is warrior babe. And she is so important at times when, when you're feeling frightened about a new change in your life and you're not fully stepping up into your potential. She's very important to just fight through that fear and really face it and bring you to life. She's important when there is injustice happening and nobody is saying a word about it. Uh, a great example is Malala who stood up to the Taliban and she got shot in the head but she stood for something and now she's an icon and an inspiration for so many women. So two simple ways to consider Warrior Babe is one, she's about taking action. She's action oriented, she makes things happen. She moves armies, she strategizes, she's a leader, she makes things happen. And number two, she has so much courage, unlike any other. She is willing to face her greatest demons, her greatest fear. She will rather die in battle fighting than give up. If there's no war, there's no need to put on your armor and fight. And that's Warrior Babe's blind spot. So when you find yourself sometimes caught up in day-to-day -day action, you're getting things done, you're being Warrior Babe, you are actually moving things around, making them happen. At times it's very important for you to just take a step back from all of that and just relax and be. And that's why tapping into some of the other Bollywood Babe's archetypes is so important, such as Magnetic Babe, who knows how to surrender and relax and be vulnerable and soft. How can you bring Warrior Babe to life? One suggestion is to really tap into the fear that you have. So whenever you have any fear or blocks coming up, sit with them, notice them, observe them, and see how you can take action in order to move, move past them, face them. That's one thing you can do. Sometimes it can be quite drastic. So if you have a fear of public speaking, you can just do it and do public speaking, just talk in front of an audience. If you have a fear of heights, you can jump out of a plane. These are direct ways to face your fears head on. It may not always be the best way to face your fears. Sometimes it's important to just be gentle with yourself and simply acknowledge that you have that fear and spend some time exploring why, where that comes from, why that could be. 
Warrior Babe is also about being assertive. So next time where you felt the need to speak up, but you've held yourself back because you didn't want to rock the boat and you didn't want to upset people around you, you want to maintain harmony, at times it's important for Warrior Babe to step up and speak up. So one way to practice bringing her to life is to become more assertive and that's not in a rude way, not in an offensive way, simply stating what's true for you and sharing that with people and not being afraid to be seen as, you know, um, not amiable or uh, rocking the boat. It's about just owning that and allowing yourself to stand up for something and, and be honest about where you're at and how you feel. Another way to bring Warrior Babe to life is by taking action. If there is something that you've been putting off for quite some time, um, maybe there's some resistance or fear around it, and you know it's something very important to you, I strongly recommend just going for it and taking that action, taking that next step and moving forward, moving past the fear. So that's a great way also to bring Warrior Babe to life, simply by taking action. Good luck with bringing Warrior Babe to life. And I hope to see you at one of my Bollywood Babes dance classes where we can explore her through dance.